Hi everyone. In this video I'll continue making air suspension for Tesla Cybertruck. In the last video I made it at the back, now we move to the front part. We have to remove the cruciform motor shield reinforcement, instead of it there will be two vertical shaped tubes. I'll put on those means of protection and start working. During the pickup equipment it got quite inconvenient to get into it. You need to run into the entire obstacle course. It's better to make the doors as soon as possible. After welding of the shape tube I finally cut off the entire building berth, now the front part of the body is holding on just two props. The front subframe will be made of the offcuts of the building berth, I decided to weld the lower part on the table, and then weld it to the frame. In the front part the subframe will be connected to the frame from pipes and there will be organic unity. I also welded the subframe upper part for the upper levers. Now we need to make the levers according to the old scheme as well as the rear ones. I also cut the lugs from the channel bar. The levers turned out to be exactly the same as at the back. Now we need to determine the cast or angle. It is necessary for the wheels to always strive to stand straight after each turn, and the steering wheel can easily return in its original position. For this purpose we need to slightly shift back the rotation axis by the upper lever. After marking the position of the levers I began to weld them. Then fasten the steering knuckles. Tried on the wheels and they turned out to be shifted to the threshold. I had to saw everything off and shift all the levers on a couple of centimeters forward. Now everything is even, we can go directly to the installation of the pneumo cushions. I welded some shaped tubes over the levers for them. The bag will be attached in the same way as at the back on the channel. I placed it between the tubes and welded. After that I fastened the bottom platform and welded it in place to the lever. I hope that the chosen electric motor will fit. If not we'll have to expand the top of the subframe. I finally defined that this car won't have internal combustion engine, only electric motor. To say so if you start making a copy then make it as much as similar including the technical part. I connected the air main to the pneumo cushions, and we only need to connect the valve case. Now I'll show you everything clearly and tell everything about the device of my air suspension. So here we have a two-circuit valve case that can independently pump up the front and the rear suspensions. There are four cushions, two down the front and two in the back for each wheel. They are connected pairwise with tubes through the T's in the front and back circuit. They are connected to the case in special unions. To pump up the pneumo cushions we need a car compressor. But it's not a good decision to connect the compressor directly to the case, you need a compressed air accumulator. For this purpose we install a receiver with a check valve and a dehumidifier in the air main so that water cannot accumulate in the system. Here's an operating principle, the compressor is turned on and the air goes down the tube through the dehumidifier into the receiver. There it accumulates till the standard 8 atmospheres and then goes to the valve case. On its way it meets the inlet valve which is normal closed. To open it we need to give 12 volts to the valve, and it will open passing the air into the cushions. In this case each valve needs its own switch. We'll examine only the front circuit two front cushions. At the left you can schematically see two valves inlet and outflow. When the voltage is applied to the inlet, one exactly on its coil, the induction force raises the flap, the air goes calmly to the cushions, and they inflate and raise the body of the truck. For example to drive through the mud or load the cyber quad on the body. In order to fix the body position the voltage is switched off and the valve closes leaving the pressure in the pneumo cushions. In order to deflate the air from the cushions and to lower the body we apply the voltage to the outflow valve 
and the air goes off through a special hole. The pneumo cushions are deflating and the body is lowering. I want to make a controller of the entire air suspension via software. For this purpose I'll install a mini computer in Tesla that will control the valve case and therefore raising or lowering of the body. The data will be displayed on the screen where there will be buttons for the position of the body and Tesla image corresponding to the pressed button. Hope I clearly explained everything. Now I'll connect the valve case to the pneumo cushions as I told you earlier. I'll check the case work with a normal 12 volt battery. First I'll completely lift the front suspension. In this position we can remove the props. Now Tesla officially stands on its air suspension. And here's the maximum body position. Hope the drives will allow to raise it until such position and to ride without any harm for them. Still everything is not clear about the wheels, but I think there can be put some larger rubber as the arches allow it. Conditionally the length between the floor and the threshold turned out to be about half a meter, and now about the lowest position. I don't know what it's for but it also looks very cool. It turned out conditionally about 25 centimeters. I say conditionally because I want to make maximum similar truck in technical terms. After installation of the electric motor and a high voltage battery under the bottom it'll also take a few centimeters from the clearance. This will only become true with your support in the form of likes, comments and most importantly time of the full video view without rewinding. Special thanks for it guys. I checked two positions of the body. There's only left the position of the Cybertruck loading in the body. To make this I raised the front suspension without using the back one. I opened the side and was surprised to find out that Cybertruck will be able to drive and even without a ramp, and there is a chance that we can make just one sliding slab almost like an original. So I am very happy with the work done. Cybertruck finally stands on its air suspension and everything works perfectly. Thanks everyone for your attention. If you like this video give your thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. See you in the next video.